Hey, it's Teresa with My Lice Advice, and today we're talking about black lice. So if you found a black bug in your hair and you're not sure if it's lice, this is the video for you. Before getting started, just so you know who I am, my name's Teresa with MyLiceAdvice.com, and I'm a registered nurse, and I actually specialize in head lice. So if in this video you discover lice, don't freak out. Just go to MyLiceAdvice.com. I have step-by-step -step videos. I'll walk you through how to get rid of it. In order to talk about black lice, let's first talk about what lice typically looks like. If you were to look up what head lice looks like, you're typically going to see lice that look like this. They're a lighter color. They're a tan or a translucent color like this. And that's typical for all baby lice. So when lice first hatch, they're actually so teeny tiny you can barely see them, but their skin is also very translucent. But as they get older, they do change color. And they basically change color to match whatever color of hair and skin you have. So they blend in really well. So for example, can you see the lice bug in this picture here? There it is right there. So for somebody with darker skin or very dark hair, like black hair, you're very likely to see these black lice bugs. And compare that to somebody with lighter skin and light hair, like blonde hair, they're more likely to see these very light, almost translucent bugs. In this picture, I'm showing different lice bugs that I got out of different people's hair. So you can see these lighter ones that are like pretty clear. Those I pulled out of somebody with blonde hair, as opposed to these dark lice bugs that are black. These are from a girl that had very dark skin, very dark hair. Regardless of your race, darker hair, darker skin, you're gonna see darker lice bugs. And that's because they're gonna blend in with the hair. So if you found a black bug in your hair and you're not sure if it's lice or not, let's go over just the basics of what a lice bug looks like. If it's a black lice bug, it's gonna look something like this. You'll see that all six legs are on the top half of its body here. And then it has this longer looking torso. But if you've only found one black bug in your child's hair and you're not sure if they have lice, I don't recommend looking in their hair for bugs because like I said, lice blend in so well with the hair. What I recommend that you look for instead are these white nits in the hair. Now, if you're finding a dark black lice bug in your hair, I'm gonna assume that you have dark hair. And these white nits are a lot easier to see than those dark lice bugs. And basically what nits are, are old lice eggs. Lice bugs lay little eggs inside the hair and then those little eggs hatch and that's how lice just keeps coming back. And after they hatch, you're left with these white looking shells in the hair and these are nits and they're very easy to see in dark hair. The best places to look for these nits or lice eggs are in places called the hot spots. And hot spots are places that lice really love to lay these things. And the hot spots are behind the ears on either side or at the nape of the neck. So when you're looking for these nits, those are the areas I recommend looking. Now the hardest thing with these nits is that they are confused with dandruff and different types of dandruff very, very commonly. So the telltale sign of something being a knit versus something being dandruff is that it's going to be glued onto the hair strand. It's actually going to require you to pinch it between two fingers and drag it all the way down the hair strand. As opposed to dandruff, usually moves a lot freer than that. If you're not sure whether or not what you're seeing are knits or dandruff, I have an amazing video tutorial and it's called Lice vs. Dandruff. And I go over just side-by-side -side pictures and explain exactly the differences between lice and dandruff. So if you're having a hard time telling the difference, 
go to my website, myliceadvice.com. I'll actually put a link in the description below. Now, if you already know that you have lice or you discover that you have lice, one thing I wanna make sure you're aware of is that head lice have become immune to lice kits and home remedies that used to work in the past. And so it's pretty typical for people to have head lice come back over and over because they never get rid of it with those over-the-counter kits or home remedies. And so if you have head lice, go to my website, myliceadvice.com. I actually have a step-by-step -step video system. You just follow along the videos and by the end of them, you'll be done with lice and it won't ever come back again. And I'll put a link for that in the description below. So just a quick review on black lice. Remember when they first are hatched, they're just teeny tiny, you can't even see them. And remember, they usually blend in really well with the hair. So if you have really dark hair, then you're more likely to see dark colored head lice. And remember, you're really looking for those nits in the hair, which are behind the nape of the neck and behind the ears. If you wanna know how to check for head lice, go to my free video tutorial that's called How to Check for Lice. You can find a link in the description below. And if you do have lice and you'd like some help, then head over to myliceadvice.com. There's loads of free resources there, including a free house cleaning checklist specific to head lice. So that's it for today. Be sure to like, and subscribe below. And if you have a comment, feel free to leave a comment. And if you have discovered lice, then head over there and check out that step-by-step -step video system. I'll see you there.